Alright everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up the UFW firewall in Ubuntu. So that's the uncomplicated firewall, and I'll be showing you its graphical user interface, GUFW. These installed instructions are in the description below, so you only need to install the GUFW package. You can do that via the Ubuntu Software Center. But do you actually need a firewall in Ubuntu? Well, no, not really, because unlike Windows, Ubuntu doesn't have many ports open on the computer. So if you don't have a port open, you don't need a firewall to stop access to it. So not really much need in having one. If you're running a server, then yes, absolutely you would need a firewall. If you're doing torrenting, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. Hosting your own website off your home computer, yeah, definitely. Um, but beyond that, no, not really. It's an optional thing. I'll show you it in VirtualBox, what you need to do. So, I've just got to install it first. As I said, you just need to type in GUFW in the Ubuntu Software Center. Select that and then install it. Now it's installed, we'll go and open it. So I'll just stretch that out a bit. So you can see what we're doing. Alright, so press the unlock button first. Type in your admin password. Yeah, let's just change the view of it a little bit. So just open up preferences. Uh, don't really need login, but we'll enable the listening report. Then we can see what connections we have open. Yeah, interesting, there's quite a few. So click on the status button, but status is on. Now we just want to create one rule and then test it out to see if it's working. So it's going to go add a rule. And we'll just do a simple deny inbound TCP port 23 telnet there won't be telnet enabled by default in Ubuntu but if it did get enabled it's certainly a good one to block because it's a very old protocol and very insecure and you can do a lot of damage to a system using it alright let's go shut down and reboot doing a reboot just to confirm the uncomplicated firewall is running on boot up because when I did it on my system I found it didn't work on boot up. I found the reason for that was the kernel update I did a while back prevented logging from working on the firewall and it disabled it on boot up which is a bit annoying. It took me a while to work out what was wrong there. Anyway we're just going to confirm it's working via terminal. Nothing too complicated here. sudo ufw status and as you can see, it is working. It says status active and got the rule that we created earlier. Now if it doesn't work, there's a couple of instructions in the description below that you can put in to try and make it work. Here's, now here's a selection of rules I've created on my desktop computer. Now the order of these rules makes a huge difference in how it works. So the first rule I've got is to allow in any traffic from the Deluge BitTorrent client. If you're using a BitTorrent client, if you just go in the options, you can see which port you are using. Now I've chosen to deny an assortment of ports from the router, then allow everything across my LAN, then deny that a selection of ports access from the internet. So the ones we've gone for, port 22, that's SSH, that's a remote terminal client that can be used in Linux. 137 to 139 on UDP. 139 TCP and 445 TCP is SMB or Samba file sharing. That's file sharing you can do with Windows and you can enable it between Linux clients. And the other one I've gone for is 4732, that's the Remina remote desktop client which comes pre installed in Ubuntu. I'll go through on how to create a few of these rules. So click the plus icon. Now you have to do it in the order you want them because you can't change the order later on. It's really annoying and it's a feature that really should be there for something that is called uncomplicated. So deny. So from the IP address, so I'm taking from my router. Now you need to check on your network icon what IP you are using for your router. So you can go on the connection information and that will tell you. By default, it normally is 192.168.1.1 or even .0.1. I've changed mine so I'm using 62.1. Leave the port number blank beginning. Leave that IP blank. 
where we put in the port number 22. So I'd add that rule. The next one down is UDP, so deny inbound UDP. Now we've got a range of port numbers, so we put it in as 137 colon 139. Add. We'll skip down a few of these because I'm sure you get the idea there. Now we'll enable everything for my LAN or home network. So put the subnet, that's using all 255 addresses, a slash 24. That's the default for most home routers. I'll leave the port number blank. So I just put deny, didn't I? I meant to put allow. So allow inbound both and add. Let's just close that and delete that earlier rule that I created. So just click on the minus icon. Back to adding a rule and we'll just go for blocking access from outside your LAN. So on the internet. So I want to deny inbound, uh, this can just be TCP, port number 22. And the other one, UDP, port 137, colon 139. Add. There you go. Now you can see the list of rules. And I can also confirm via the terminal whether it's all working, so sudo UFW status. Can, there you go, you can see all the rules. Right, so that's how to set up the uncomplicated firewall in Ubuntu. So thanks for watching, see you later.